you know when someone asks, what kind of parent are you? The answers are limitless. And sometimes it creates judgment because it's not a one size fits all kind of situation. A lot of families have very much uh, uh, been very strong on their choices. A helicopter parent, free range parent, authoritative parent, permissive parent. The list goes on and on. I have dubbed myself the evolving parent because I've tried every last one of those. And whether you have a child or not, this is an hour you're going to find a fascinating conversation about parenting. And it is a big reason why we've grown up to be the adults we are because of the parents we had. So even Hollywood thinks parenting conflicts are interesting and it's now the focus of a popular new ABC series. It's called The Parent Test. It puts 12 families with very different parenting styles under the microscope to scrutinize and stress test them. The audience sees what approach turns out to be the most effective and while the results are not always predictable, you can bet the show is provocative, it's funny, it's thought provoking. Take a look. How do you parent in today's world? 12 parents invited us into their homes to allow us to film how they parent, all in search of today's best parenting style. Every morning at six o'clock, they have cake for breakfast. We're not that crazy. This is the parent test. We're helicopter parents. We have a new age approach. Our strategy is intensive parenting style. We're putting each parenting technique to the test. I can't do it. <laughs> you. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Oh my God! Actress, comedian, author, podcaster, and friend of the TAM fam, Allie Wentworth hosts The Parent Test alongside highly respected parenting expert, clinical psychologist, Dr. Adolph Brown, aka Doc Brown. <laughs> As he's affectionately known, please welcome to the TAM fam. Give it up for <laughs> Doc Brown! Uh, Doc. Brown, listen, when I saw the promotion for this, I'm like, oh, this is a hit. So for background, how many kids do you have? Eight. You have eight. Eight is enough <laughs> to know something about parenting. That's right. Before we talk about them, what's your parenting style? My parenting style is really the high achievement parenting style. With eight kids? With eight. Nobody with... got lost in the sauce? No, <laughs> no. In fact, um, it's kind of a balance because my wife is more, she would give the children more of a, a grounding because I travel pretty oh, much yeah. for a living and I would give them their wings. So high achievement for me means it's, it's framed in high expectations, mm -hmm. but also with the supports and the nurturance to give it. So all eight children you parent the same way? Because that's what I was saying with my son. I read you know, all these books and all these years of TV and I thought I had a strategy until I met Moses. So, so and, and, and not the same way, Tamron, as much as there's flex, you have to be flexible in whatever style you use. Okay. Because the children are changing and growing, and so are we. Yeah, and so are we. You know, I talk about my mom was a 19-year-old single mom. I just said to her the other day, she's now 72. I'm like, I knew you when you were a baby. So I'm now, through my adult eyes, able to understand and forgive That's right. some of the things when I was 10. I'll never come back and see you again. But she was a baby and she was evolving. That's right. So, so that flexibility is really important. And something that you say all the time is parent the child you have. Yeah. Then I add, not the one you wish you had. Yeah, so, right, so, right. So, so, so that's, that's really, really important. So take us through the show. So you, you put these families together and the stress test component of this, explain that to our audience, how that works. Definitely. Every family goes through a challenge uh -huh. and there are different challenges ranging from stranger danger. What will your child do when they meet a stranger in the park with a puppy? Will they pet the puppy? Now that's not, that's not the hard part. The yeah. hard part is when the stranger says, I have other puppies behind that building. Would your child go back there? Would you come with me? Oh, wow. That is so fascinating. So this is to see if the kind of parenting that these people believe it actually works. If it holds up if to that If it holds challenge. up to the stress test. To, to that stress test. I saw the scene where the, the parents are encouraging the kids to dive off um, the, the diving board. And you saw the difference in strategies. Again, going back to me, my son happens to be very cautious. And I find myself trying to get him to do things. So one of those parents reminded me of myself, kind of that push you out there. Definitely. And the fact that you are a cautious parent, we have to remember as parents that more is caught than is taught oh. at first. They're watching us more than they're listening. They're watching us more than they're listening. At do you find our audience, most of them said, you know, there were things that their parents did that they would not want to do. Is that the most common answer? Do you find that most people don't want to parent the way they were parented? Well, what we call that, we call, psychologists call it ghost in the nursery. 
And it's not necessarily not wanting to parent the way you were parented. Oftentimes, it's also you want to replicate the things that you thought worked. Oh. So, so it, it's kind of a give and take. Mm -hmm. when they How do. many styles of parenting have you discovered? Over 20 easily. Easily? Yes. In fact, the this, this show only explored uh, 12. Uh -huh. There are 20 empirically based, meaning they've been researched, but there are over 100 that people, I heard of one the other day called the um, humanistic parenting oh. style. And, and I liked it. It, it was uh, basically understanding what we understand. Yeah. Every child is a study of one. Yeah, so, so parenting of one. That's a fascinating concept. Well, coming up, we're going to meet a single dad who bravely put his parenting skills under the microscope on this groundbreaking new show and more from the Parent Test next. <laughs> I'm Dennis, we are the Williams family, and I am a high achievement parent. Keep going, keep going, go. What I want for Elan is to be the personification of black excellence, that it's possible for him to be and do anything that he wants in life. La puerta, cafe. I want him to be the smartest person in the room, the most read, the most literate. Ready? So he has a lot of after school activities. Bonjour. Welcome back. We are spending the hour talking about parenting. There are many different styles as there are children, and with that, opinions come with it as well. And whether you're a parent or not, we've all been parented. And this is a hot topic here. And now with us, we have a very special guest in the hot seat. Let me tell you, he's one of the guests on the parent test who had agreed to go on the show. Uh, he's a single dad, Dennis Williams. We just saw him in that clip, his eight-year-old son, Elon. Please welcome Dennis to the show. Thank you so much. Doc Brown is still here with us. OK, Tam fam, Elon is eight years old. Yeah. He is learning Spanish. He plays tennis. He speaks English, Mandarin, Croatian, French. I mean, where did you get this style of parenting? What, what made you want to parent this way? You know, I just think that, in general, we underestimate ourselves, oh. right, and our ability. And I grew up in a household where my parents had very high expectations of my siblings yeah. and myself. Uh, and I think, you know, they say, if you, when you know better, you do better. Yeah. So my parenting is very intentional. I believe that Elon has limitless possibilities, but he has to believe that he has those Does he understand why he's in all of these things? I think it's normal for him. Oh. This is, it's the only life that he's ever known. When like, did he take his first foreign language class? Uh, we started with French uh, probably at about 18 months and then layered in Mandarin at about three and a half. Yeah. You have been open on the show that you're a single parent, you are a gay man, um, and this is a, a journey of one in so many ways. Is it because you are gay, you are black, and you, are, you want to make sure that he is armed with all the tools to, as you said, be black excellence? Yeah, I think that you, know, you, you parent according to your own experiences. Yeah. You've yes. talked about this. You parent from your past. You parent from the way that you were parented. But you also parent for the world that you think you're sending your kid out into. Wow. And so I know that there will be a lot of people who will doubt his ability. Uh, he'll come into the room and people will underestimate him. And I want him to surprise, shock, and awe people. Wow. <laughs> Doc Brown, I mean, we know that our audience is applauding that, and I get why, but you have people who will say, but he's a kid, he's eight, he's supposed to be playing with Legos or whatever eight-year-olds do, <laughs> I, you know, and, yes. and having fun and running outside. That The fact that he is studying Mandarin, Croatian, French is great, but where's the kid part? Well, yeah. in that style, in that high achievement style. Which is your style, too. Exactly. It incorporates all the hallmarks of parenting excellence. There's fun, deliberate fun, authentic fun. There's firmness. Consistency, structure, limits, and boundaries. Mm -hmm. There's fairness. Understanding that if he's tired, we can talk about it and, and decide whether or not we want to go farther. And, and the last part is being flexible. Right. So, OK, and you had a parent on there that let their kid eat cake all day. They said they had, what is it, cake for breakfast like every day that week. Were you judging? I think initially I was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, hey, um, I mean, I had some some pretty well defined boundaries and rules, and and uh, the relationship and dynamic that Alan and I have is we're very 
both of us very comfortable, I think, and sure that I am the parent and he is the child. You got feedback on the show yeah. about your style of yeah. parenting. Was that hard to take? Because that's a, I mean, I, my eye starts to twitch when people, I remember one day I was trying to tell my son to do something and this lady goes, I'll tell him. I'm like, ma'am, I'm his mother. He's gonna oh, listen yeah. to me before he <laughs> listens. I am like, what were, cause I felt like she was implying I could not control my child and she needed to intervene. I nearly fainted in the store. Oh, it's the most intimidating thing ever, yeah. right? It's the most vulnerable part of my personality is whether or not I'm getting this thing right. It's yeah. the most important assignment I've ever been given yes, in my life. Yeah, yeah, And so, yeah. you know, I, 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 I'm high, that's part of the reason why I wanted to go on the show. I needed a Doc Brown in my life yeah. to say, hey, here are some things that you're doing right. And, to then experience a room full of other parents who are doing it differently yeah. and then absorb, take from them things that can be added to my own style. Doc, what's the ultimate goal with this show? I mean, we're watching for, I'm watching for the entertainment and the hijinks. I cannot lie, like, <laughs> you let that kid do what? You know, but what do you hope your goal, not only as a parent of eight, right. but as an expert here that people get out of the show? I would like people to watch and observe all the different parenting styles and choose what aspects of those styles that they actually think will work in their homes yeah. and develop a toolkit. Oh. A toolkit. So you don't have to pick one style. You're no. saying we can just have it all in the toolbox. Definitely. And I think what people are also going to recognize is that when they see these styles, uh -huh. it may not be anything like what you think. Wow, I like that. Well, the Parent Test airs Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Go check it out. Thank you to my friend, Doc Brown. Congratulations on the show. Dennis, thank you for being willing to put your story out there. I love that.